Hi everybody, Carrie Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado Authorized Retail Store in Lone Tree, Colorado. And today's question comes from Bob in Littleton. And Bob's asking, why am I seeing these black and white stripes on my screen? I'm not sure what it is, and it's really bugging me, but when I look at my footage, it's not there. It's only on the screen. Well, Bob, it's a simple answer. It's called overexposure warning. Now, as you can see here on my screen, I do have that same effect going on where part of my sky has that zebra stripe is what it's called. And then over on uh, the side of the table here, you can see some of that zebra striping as well. And that's telling me that areas of the scene that are overexposed, that means they're too bright. They're basically just going to turn out white. So in the case of the sky, I'm going to get some of the blue in the back, but some of it is just going to be totally washed out. So we need to adjust our exposure to make sure that we don't have a problem with that. As we can see, I'm almost two stops overexposed for the sky there. But if you don't like this warning and you want to just use a feature like the histogram or your EV value to get your exposure right, that's fine too. Zebra stripes is just another tool. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Remember, this is a feature that you turned on. It's not on by default. So you were probably going through your settings, saw it, thought it was probably a good idea, didn't know what it was, and then when you see it on the screen, you're like, oh, what the heck is this? So we're gonna go to our camera settings, find overexposure warning right here, and just tap it off. It's just that simple. So turning it on is gonna turn on the zebra stripes, turn it off, we'll turn them off. Now we still have a problem with our exposure, so I'm gonna crank up my shutter speed there and go back to my zebra stripes, and you see that I fixed it. So I'm not seeing the zebra stripes because I have a proper exposure in that sky. I'm still seeing it on part of that table there, but that's okay. As long as my sky is looking good, my ground's looking good, I'm gonna be good to go. So it can be a very useful tool for you to make sure that you're not blowing out your skies, especially on a very clear day or when there's some clouds in the sky. But if it bothers you, just go in there and turn it off. So again, thanks Bob for the question. Now, if you like these types of videos, especially these quick tips, be sure and comment below and let us know the type of tips you're looking for. Or if you have an answer, just send it to us and we'll do our best to create a video to answer the question for you. So make sure you hit like, subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified every time we do a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.